someone who's into arts and crafts, trying new supplies and new kinds of crafts is like the spring summer day. Spring summer. It's like the spring day where all the flowers are just blooming and the birds are just screeching. And so the last time I went to Japan, I explored so many different kinds of craft stores and art stores. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it down below. And while I was there, I picked up a carving stamp kit. I have no idea if that's the order of the word or car stamp carving, stamp carving kit. That's what it is. Right, Bird? I've never tried any kind of carving or stamping kit, but I've always admired people who were able to do it. <coughs> Y'all right there? And so for $20, this kit is supposed to be just right for beginners. So I am really nervous because I've never, I've never done that. And I think this kind of kit <coughs> requires patience. Goodness knows, I lack it. Why'd you agree so much? You done? So whether I fail or succeed, there is a bonus for you grades. I will be giving away four t-shirts stamped with the stamp that I'm going to meet. You know that's my eye, right? Are you done? I tell you these verbs. The t-shirts I picked up are from Michaels and they come in X large, large, medium, and small. I wish I could have gotten a wider range of sizes, but these were the only ones that were sold over there. So whether I fail or succeed, you grains are gonna get a t-shirt stamped with whatever I make today. And I got this idea from Schmucks. Jackie from the future here. Just to be clear, I will be having the giveaway. It'll be at the end of the video, but in order to participate, it is open internationally. You have to be over 18 or have your parents permission. And note that I do have cats. So if you're allergic to cats, they may or may not have come in contact with cat fur. So I do not want to risk you getting ill. If you're new here, don't forget to press that subscribe button and the little bell. Otherwise, I'm going to wave a sharp pointy thing at you and I'll have my burb get you. You see, he's primed for battle, right? And even though it is written in Japanese, it has a lot of English right on the packaging itself. And as we can see in the... Are you done, babe? You know you're intimidating me, right? <laughs> well, not with that voice. Now they're, now they're not gonna believe that you're a battle bird. You know that? So in the back of the box, it does look pretty complete and they seem to also give us some kind of design to work with, which I'm pretty excited about. One of the <laughs> other... You know, I'm a person too, and I always have things to say. It's not just verb things. Everyone already loves you. Another reason I love Japanese craft kits is because their English is also number one, just like mine, right? And so when we look at the instructions in the back of this, this box, put it back to the case after using. Horunavi may attach other things. That is the vaguest sentence ever. <laughs> Clean up trash that had made after carving stamp. English number one. <laughs> Time to see what we get inside. We get a pink cutting mat. This is pretty cute. A V-shaped carving tool. A blade. Oh my god! I get to wave things at you again. This is some pretty, pretty good quality stuff. And it does say Art Knife Japan. We also get a kneaded eraser. I broke it. And is it needy? Oh my god, that is, that is pretty needy. It's almost so needy, I have to get a restraining order. <laughs> stop. Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Actually, I'm not sorry, but I'll stop. We get stamping ink in the color of chocolate, but don't worry, for the t-shirts, I'll be using fabric paint. Got you covered. 
We also get two mini erasers so that we can test our skills on. So I'm definitely going to be practicing on this. Before we head on to the last item, which is a full, kind of like postcard size stamp. And what I want to do is cut it in half and do two different motifs and then stamp the shirts with two different motifs. Will I succeed? The question of the day. Will Salty and Nerdy succeed at something so new and so, so foreign to them? Oh, Salt wants to come out. No, no. Today, we are experimenting things. We are not being salty. Actually, we salty misintensified, so never mind. Oh, and we also get tracing paper. I almost forgot it. But in the back of the box, we also have the motifs that they encourage us to try with and the instructions, colored instructions in both English and Japanese. So I have no excuses for messing up except for my own doofiness. My brain is a little confused right now because I am not used to this at all. I am panicking. Don't panic. According to the designs over here, the black parts are the parts that we keep and the white parts are the parts we carve out, I believe. So if we look in the back here with the instructions, the first thing we have to do is trace the drawing that we want and then smooth it into the actual piece, well, the, the, the eraser. So I'm going to start by carving out Mr. Kitty Cat and putting the tracer paper back on here. I don't know if it's gonna work. Why am I so nervous? All right, so I believe we just have to trace this little kitty cat. All right, so here's Mr. Kitten's mix, mix kitten's worth. That, that's the name. And now I should be able to transfer Mr. McKitten's worth right here, like a so. Okay, so now we do our, I don't know if that's gonna work, but they said it would. And the reveal. Oh, that really worked. Why am I impressed? I'm still impressed. That's pretty cool. All right, the next step is, is oh my God, it's all, <coughs> <clears throat> Don't be salty. The instructions are clear. You're just being stubborn. All right, so according to the instructions, it seems like we should be carving on the outside first and then make our way towards the inside. I may have actually chosen quite a difficult pattern to do because the details are pretty small. So we want to keep the inside of the kitty cat to be... Oh my God. Yeah, we want to keep the inside of the kitty cat black, but then the eyes are going to be carved out. So am I doing it right? Most pro- Oh, dang it. This is, this is way harder than I expected. Okay. And you're supposed to make sure that the blade doesn't go towards you, which I can see why is a danger. Okay, okay I think I have my first carve. Let me keep trying. This is way harder than I thought. I have to admit, this is pretty exciting. I mean, look at that. I don't know if it's not deep enough. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gut! But I'm not quite sure how shallow or how deep this is supposed to be. Now we're going to go into the finer details, so we need this scoopy thing. And that's making me quite nervous, because I have no idea how this is gonna happen. These tools are not big enough. I mean, I mean, they're too big. <laughs> the opposite. My brain so broke it did did today. So broke it it. Yeah, this is not, this is not gonna work out. I think I'm just gonna go back to this one. Now my kitten just looks angry. So here's what I have so far. I have to admit it is way easier when you're carving like this. So having it close to your face, not necessarily the blade, but having, being as close as possible makes it so much easier. All right, now we're supposed to clean up this here. And time to do a test stamp. This is so exciting. Here's the stamp that we got, and it's really interesting because it's for fabric, paper, wood, and more. I wish they had given us a dark color and a lighter color in case we wanted, you know, to stamp on darker colors like I'm doing with the t-shirts. Kitty, meet brown chocolate ink. Oh, that is juicy. Did you go and see that? Super juice. <sighs> I am, I am so excited about this. All right, are we ready? This is so exciting. My first ever step. I don't know how hard or how long you're supposed to be pressing for this, but, and, and me good. <laughs> Why am I so excited with this? That is adorable. That is really cute. I can see the mistake over here, so I'm pretty sure I could just carve it out and fix it. And then let's do a lighter stamp. No, first step is, is the only get. This is the only get, wow. English, number one. And here's my second attempt with the whiskers on the right slightly less thick. Yes. 
I call that a success. And now to clean up our piece, all we have to do is just kind of dab the kneaded eraser and it should remove any of the excess stuff. Now that I vaguely understand the concept, just in case those of you who want to say, But Jakey, you're doing it wrong. The answer is no. I am experimenting and learning. There is no wrong in trying. Or is there? There probably is, but not when you're trying a new craft. You're just trying and having fun. So now I want to do something epic. See this here? We're going to make two different images. And these images will have something to do with my burb and the salt shaker family great people. So the t-shirt that whoever is winning is going to get it really custom made and it's going to be between us grains. Okie dokes, okie dokes. So the first thing I'm doing is placing the block right on top of a sheet of paper and then cutting it out. Now we know exactly the dimensions of our card paper thingy-mabob. I'm cutting it in half and now let's start make the... Wow, well, English number... Let's start make the drawings. Wow, Jackie cannot talk today. And let's start making the drawings. And so for the first drawing, I definitely wanted to go with my chubby chicken. And I thought, what better to go with than the actual sticker that we use in the premium member chats. He's a salty burb, and he definitely says, we're all doing it wrong. So I'm just darkening the places that I already traced out to make them pop a lot more so I know exactly where I need to carve. In all honesty, I really did, I, I really think I did it wrong because when I put the paper right on top, the word wrong was reversed, but I'm like, wait a minute, that's the correct way, because when you stamp it, it's gonna re-reverse. See where I'm going with that? Carving was actually way funner than I expected. I don't know what the end result is going to be like, but using that V-shape for finer lines on the inside seemed like the right thing to do. Is it? I don't know. This time, to challenge myself, as you can see, I'm working on the insulted design. I wanted to make the opposite of the wrong design. And what I mean by that is that the lines are carved inwards. Whereas this one, I want to do the opposite and make it so that the lines are the ones popping out. So the outline is going to be the parts that are stamped. I don't know if it's working, but we're gonna find out together. Pretty ambitious with the little grains, so instead of cutting them out all together, I decided to make them stick out so that when they're stamped, I can actually put the faces on manually myself. I don't know if that defeats the purpose, but that's what I'm doing. Holy carp! So far, this is actually the most fun I've had with such a simple activity. It kept me busy for quite some time. And now let's make the t-shirts. I just had a live stream with some of you grains and people insisted that I do one of these stamps as glow in the dark. So I'm going to be mimicking the same idea from the person who also made t-shirts out of their stamps, which is schmucks. And I'm going to be putting one stamp in the front and then alternating the art in the back. We are not going to do a test run. We're just going to do them immediately on the t-shirts. I'm scared, but it's got to be done. All right, so the first thing I pretty much did was just put some of the glow-in-the-dark paint here. I know it's not the right roller, but let's just, let's just pretend it is because I don't have anything else. And the first one we're going to do is the wrong one. Well, the one that says wrong on it. Yeah, I'm definitely doing this wrong. All right, so I know it's not very even, but I really don't know what else I could do it with. But if this doesn't work, I might have to see other options. All right, wish me luck. And we're gonna put it right here. A few moments later. And let's see what we get. Oh, that is really cute. That is really cute. <laughs> All right, so I feel like only if you knew what the picture is, you can tell. But I really like the fact that wrong really stood out quite well. The angry chicken kind of shows, but the pattern overall feels kind of like the Lion King for some reason. All right, let's give it a try now with the tulip paints and let's start making the pattern in the back. Here we go with the insulted one. And this paint definitely spreads much more nicely than the other one. And wish me luck, committed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that is so cute! That is so cute! And yes, this is 
my signature NCJ Nerdy Crafter Jet Key. I am absolutely in love with this. I probably should have picked up a shirt for myself too. And so all the other t-shirts will be different, different colors, different motifs. I might decide to put the mo Can't talk. I might decide to put this pattern in the front on some of them, or, or not. I, I, I'm not quite sure yet. It'll be a surprise. So if you want to go into the raffle draw, do the Google form that's going to be in the description box below, and comment in the comment section below what is your favorite art or craft type thing to do. It could be either, you know, Copic marker drawings or, or resin crafting. All crafts are accepted. Once you do these two things, you are entered. But remember, I only have what is this? But remember, I only have one of each size. So these are one-of-a-kind shirts. This week's shoutouts go to Starry Bubble, Jungle Jama, Close Your Eyes, Moon Turret May, and X Fluffy Puff X. If you want a shout out in my videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. If you want to watch my previous crafting video, which is turning Sophia into a bat, which is a YouTuber into a bat. Make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a video that YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check it out down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.